Smelly feet can be terribly embarrassing. At times, sweat from feet keeps lingering because of socks and shoes, and bacteria on the skin thrives on this sweat together with the dead skin cells to produce the awful sting. Bad odor is also emitted from the feet when there is some infection may be arising from athlete's foot or nail fungus. Here are a few things you can try to rid yourself of this smelly condition. First of all, ensure that you change your socks every day. Moreover, preferably use cotton socks which allow the feet to breathe better. Keep at least two pairs of shoes and use them on alternate days, allowing them to air well. Before putting on your socks and shoes, dust some normal baking soda or talcum powder over them. Take one to one and a half liters of water. To this, add half a cup of vinegar. Soak your feet in this for about 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off well with soap and pat dry. Do this once a day for 8 to 10 days and you will see the difference. Salt also helps reduce moisture, thereby not allowing any bacteria to thrive. In a tub, add enough water to soak your feet. Add quarter to half a cup of salt to this. Immerse your feet in this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Do this daily for about a fortnight. Take some fresh ginger and make a paste out of it. Now take this paste and boil it in a cup of water. Let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it boils, strain this liquid and now discard the water and retain this paste. Apply this paste on your feet, leave it overnight and wash it off in the morning. Do this for two to three days and you will see a remarkable difference. Believe it or not, few cloves in your shoes can also do the trick. So first identify if you have any infections which need to be treated, wear good fitting shoes and follow these remedies to rid yourself of stinky feet. A noticeable swelling of the hands and feet, legs and ankles is known as edema, which is water retention in the body tissues. So what happens when you have edema? Besides the stretched and puffy skin, if you poke a finger into the swelling for a few seconds, it will form a kind of a dimple. Though edema is not a disease, it is an indicator of some other underlying condition. Edema can be a result of a surgery, sitting in one position for some time, an insect bite or the most common cause in women, pregnancy. Try these simple and safe ways of dealing with edema. Let's look at some easy and simple ways of dealing with edema. To remove the retained fluid, the lymphatic system needs to be stimulated. Heat some coconut oil or mustard oil and with gentle strokes, massage this oil onto the area. Do this regularly to see best results. Take some lukewarm water and add equal amounts of apple cider vinegar to it. Now take a clean towel and soak the towel in this liquid and wrap it over the affected area. In a pan, add a glass of water and to this add about three tablespoons of dhania or coriander seeds. Now let it boil till the quantity reduces to half. Once it cools, strain this liquid and you can have this couple of times a day. Take a handful of flax seeds and crush them coarsely. You can eat this raw or sprinkled over your food. When having edema, it is very important to reduce your salt intake, which includes the consumption of processed foods and meats. Avoid excessive alcohol and caffeine. Eat a healthy diet, maintain a regular exercise regimen and live healthy. <laughs> Many of us like to maintain long nails, but very few realize they also need to be nurtured. Very often, nails become brittle and they crack and break easily. 
broken nails not only look bad but they also could be a sign of iron deficiency try these simple remedies for healthy nails first and foremost keep your fingernails dry and clean to prevent bacteria from forming beneath your nails take about 250 ml of water which is about 1 cup add a tablespoon of lime juice you can soak your fingernails in this for about 2 to 3 minutes wash it off with warm water dry it well and remember moisturize as well you can do this with your toenails as well and this procedure not only keeps your nails healthy but also removes nail stains take some warm mustard oil and soak your toenails and fingernails in it for about 10 minutes gently massage each toe and finger and remove the excess oil make this a daily routine for healthy nails take some freshly squeezed lime juice and with a small cotton ball gently rub some lime juice onto your finger and toenails wash it and dry it thoroughly and this in fact makes your nails even more stronger finally include foods like spinach beetroot nuts and dry fruits to your diet very frequently to give your nails the needed nutrients pamper your nails and watch them grow healthy and lustrous A small yellow spot on the nail tip progressing to swollen toes, yellowed and thickened nails are all symptoms of fungal infection. Do not neglect this as the nails can get cracked, broken and may be totally lost. There are several reasons why toenails get infected with fungus. The most prominent one being enclosed in moist and sweaty shoes and socks where fungus thrives. Other reasons are poor hygiene, diabetes and a compromised immune system. However, it is not really difficult to deal with fungal infection, so let's look at how you can use simple home ingredients to rid yourself of this condition. In a measure of lukewarm water, take quarter measure of white vinegar. Mix this and soak the affected nails in this for about 15 minutes. Wash it off and then dry it thoroughly. You can do this couple of times a day till the infection clears. Take couple of tablespoons of rice and grind it coarsely. Now take this rice powder and to this add enough of apple cider vinegar to form a thick paste. Apply the scrub over and around the infected nails and scrub it gently. Leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes and then wash it off and you can do this 3 to 4 times a week. Haldi or turmeric powder is known for its antiseptic properties so take a little turmeric powder and add enough water to make a semi thick paste now apply this over the infected area leave it on for about half an hour and then wash it off and you can do this every day till the infection clears Another simple remedy is by using a potato. Take a potato and grate it coarsely. Apply this over the affected nails and wrap a cloth over it for some time and then remove the cloth, wash it well and dry it. Take care of your nails as they can cause a lot of distress if they are discolored or chipped and broken. Athlete's foot is the most common fungal infection of the skin. This generally occurs when closed footwear is worn for long periods with a sweat providing the moist environment for the fungus to thrive. Athlete's foot is found in men more than women as men usually wear shoes and socks for longer periods. Symptoms of athlete's foot include itching between the toes. The skin appears rough, scaly and reddish. Moist white lesions form which lead to cuts in the skin with discomfort and pain. There is a pungent odor due to infection. If not controlled, the infection can spread to the nails, making them thick and yellow in color. 
Here are some easy home remedies to give you relief from this infection. Take 2 tablespoons of baking soda and add enough water to make a paste. Apply this paste on the infected area and let it dry and then wash it off and using a towel thoroughly dry the area. Finally, sprinkle some talcum powder over your feet, especially in between your toes. Crush 5 to 6 cloves of garlic in a mortar and pestle. Apply this over the infected area. Leave it for about 10 minutes and then wash it off and dry well with a towel. It is known that vinegar is acidic, a property that kills fungus. So take about 500 ml of vinegar and pour it in a tub. And to this add about 2 liters of water. Now soak your feet in this for about half an hour and then wash it off and dry it with a towel. Do this twice a day till the infection heals. Remember to air your shoes well and if you tend to sweat excessively, try wearing open toe footwear and make sure the feet are always dry. Take care and stay healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to hit the like button and also leave a comment letting me know what you feel and also check out our other home remedies and remember, eat healthy, stay healthy and keep looking young.